This is a very big deal that should be getting uh, more attention than it is. Authorities have found 10 improvised explosive devices at the U.S.-Mexico border in a cartel gun fight. Federal law enforcement source shared with Fox Business an internal officer safety alert dated December 13th that warned Customs and Border Patrol agents to be vigilant after the Mexican military seized 10 improvised explosive devices, IEDs, at the border. The IEDs were found by Mexican authorities after Tucson Border Patrol observed gunshots at the U.S.-Mexico border and a Tucson supervisory Border Patrol agent arrested an armed person on the U.S. side who had a loaded AK-47, two loaded AK magazines, loose rounds, and a handgun. For those of you in Rio, Linda, you hear the word magazine, you're thinking like pages. In your mind, you call them clips. It's actually a magazine. Customs and Border Patrol is warning its agents to exercise extreme caution and should report any possible armed suspects approaching the border with possible explosive devices. Now, this was uh, earlier on uh, Bill Himmer on Fox News. Just this is him reporting on this. Uh, U.S. officials are warning agents to watch out for IEDs. Improvised explosive devices. Uh, this now, according to an internal memo obtained by Fox Business, says the Mexican military seized 10 explosives at the border. The memo reads in part, quote, agents should ex exercise extreme caution and should report any possible armed subjects approaching the border with possible explosive devices. And it's notable other networks aren't talking about this. This is a real escalation, and it's not just uh, cartel on cartel violence. There is some concern about disruption at the border for us as China made plans to wind down a lot of the production of those things that could um, be used for fentanyl. One of the Mexican cartels actually has told its cartel agents to stop manufacturing fentanyl, but others have stepped up the game and there are fights between them. And those fights between them are turning more bloody and they are blowing each other up now with IEDs. I'm sorry, tangent. Am I the only one who hears IED and thinks IUD immediately? Cause this, this was uh, <laughs> like, what are they doing? Getting each other, trying to get each other pregnant. No, they're trying to blow each other up. IED, not IUD. Just, just so we're clear here, okay, off the tangent, back to the story. They're blowing each other up, not getting each other pregnant. And there's a spillover effect with Border Patrol agents. But on top of that, remember, uh, Congressman Chip Roy was on here a while back, and he, he said one of the things that these cartels have been doing is they're sending um, – People over the border, illegal aliens who are trying to get into this country, they're helping them as coyotes, come across the Rio Grande. But they're using those people who've paid them a lot of money to get here as bait. So they send all these people across the border, knowing they're going to be arrested, processed, and released. And while the Border Patrol is dealing with this flood of, of people coming across the border, they send the drug runners in a different direction and they come across the border. And then they shoot up flares or shoot guns so the Border Patrol actually knows they're be they're toying with the Border Patrol. But they're escalating it with these IEDs, making the situation more dangerous. This is another reason we need real border security. Republicans and Democrats in Washington are trying in some capacity to come up with a compromise on border security. I'm afraid the Republicans will compromise too much. It's because the Democrats want funding for Ukraine and Israel. The Republicans are holding up the funding for Ukraine and Israel together in exchange for border security. Um, we're going to need to, we're going to need to, see what the compromise is. But I'm not sure that the Republicans won't give away the game. This news should emphasize for everyone, however, how much uh, more dangerous the border situation is getting. And you now have, have guys like Dick Durbin from Illinois 
John Fetterman from Pennsylvania saying the border actually is a real problem and Democrats need to stop trying to deal with constituent interests in this country and actually secure the border. And I'm hoping uh, a situation like this could change it. But it really is notable that Fox is one of the few media networks willing to cover these sorts of stories at the border. Um, There needs to be more exposure to it.